Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about how SPF number is calculated. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. That's the number that you see on sunscreens. Now this number measures, it tells you, it's a scale, it tells you how much protection that sunscreen covered skin offers when skin with no sunscreen coverage is exposed to sun's UVB radiation. Now it's important to know that I said sun's UVB radiation. The two radiations that are of concern when it comes to sun are UVA radiation and UVB radiation. Both the radiations can cause skin cancer. UVA also causes premature aging of the skin. UVB can also cause sunburn. So the SPF number, it measures the protection. It tells you the protection that sunscreen offers against UVB radiation. It's got nothing to do with the UVA radiation, only UVB radiation. So how is this number calculated? Let's say they want to find out the SPF of a sunscreen. Now what they do is, you've got human volunteers, they're exposed, a portion of their skin is exposed to UV uh, lamp. Uh, and then the time it takes for this bare skin, this portion of the skin, it's got no sunscreen applied to it and it's exposed to UV lamp and the time it takes for this bare skin to burn is noted. And then they take the same skin and apply some sunscreen on it. Once they apply sunscreen, they again expose it to the UV lamp. Now the time it takes for the sunscreen covered skin to burn is noted. And the formula for SPF is the time it takes for the sunscreen covered skin to burn divided by the time it takes for the bare skin, that's the skin with no sunscreen, to burn. So let's say the time it takes for sunscreen covered skin to burn is 200 minutes. And the time it takes for bare skin to burn, that the skin with no sunscreen is 20, uh, 10 minutes. Let's say it's 10 minutes. So the SPF, the formula is 200 divided by 10. And so that's 20. The SPF of that sunscreen is 20. SPF for every sunscreen is different. Now, important point, we know that when we apply sunscreen in the morning, we cannot assume it's going to last the whole day. Sunscreen to be effective has to be reapplied at regular intervals. Now this SPF 20 of this sunscreen that we're talking about, that does not mean you have to reapply sunscreen every 20 hours or let's say every 20 minutes. That's not an indication of that number. Now how often we have to reapply, when we have to reapply, that depends on SPF number and something called UV index. I've got another video about UV index and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So that's an important point to note, that SPF number alone is not an indication of how often or when to reapply your sunscreen. It depends a lot on the UV index as well and more on that in a separate video. So uh, that's it for this video. Always apply sunscreen. The best thing you can do for your skin is sunscreen sunscreen first and then you can think about other skincare products without sunscreen everything else is ineffective sunscreen 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 that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video to find out more about skincare head on to skincabin.com